the stuff with the ingredients. And to occur in the city in the doctor's office. Okay. Hey, Litsa. Cooking stream a lot. Yeah, you see, it takes time, but you know, sorry if I have to always go closer because it's fucking tiny, the writing on the phone. So to read the chat is, is just annoying. So let's start with the pasta. I hope it is not completely flipped so I can read the brand. This is the only brand of pasta you will ever use. And uh, it is uh, um, whole wheat because of my diabetes. So you can get uh, the normal pasta. They usually come in a blue box instead of the orange one. Orange one is for whole wheat. And spaghetti for carbonara is probably the more common one. Yeah, it will be on Twitch. It will be on Twitch. So whole wheat pasta. Then we have. Uh, in absence of guanciale, you have diced pancetta. The fat content has to be half and half at least. So, because the fat is what actually you need to make it more flavorful. Then, parmesan. Make sure that the parmesan. Spaghettini is not for carbonara, it's for sometimes for uh, tomato sauce. Uh, spaghetti is a, is a bit better. The parmesan, make sure that they always have this logo at the bottom, which means that it's a proper parmesan, it's not a cheapo. Okay? There has to be the logo. Doesn't matter the brand, but as long as the, the logo is here, it means that it's a proper one. In addition to that, I will also mix, uh, I do apologize if the presentation is not the best, some uh, hard, another hard cheese which is pecorino as a sheep hard cheese and you can do without it but you can also mix it with the parmesan to add a little bit of a, of a different taste and then in terms of ingredients black pepper um, some salt for seasoning the water some olive oil, extra virgin if you can, for cooking the uh, pancetta. And then the eggs. Try as much as possible to have rich yolks, yeah, eggs, the larger the better. And you will always need one yolk per person plus one whole egg. So if you're cooking for, I don't know, three people, you need three yolks and a full egg. That way it doesn't get too um, watery. The, 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 so the sauce that you're making with the, for the carbonara, it has to be a thicker sauce. It doesn't have to be too watery. So if you add too many whites, it becomes too washed out and you don't get the creaminess out of it. In terms of supply, you know, supplies, in terms of uh, um, Cookware, two bowls to separate the eggs. So in one bowl you're going to separate uh, uh, just the yolk and then the whole egg. The other one will have the the whites, and you're probably going to be binning them unless you want to do some meringues or something like that. But I um, don't really care about that. Fork and spoon. The spoon of the, the fork of goes to beating the eggs. The spoon is to scoop up some of the pasta water and some of the fats. Hand grater to grate the cheese, the, 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 the pecorino. You don't need this if you're already using only this. It's already grated for you. Spatula to mix to uh, mix in the pasta at the end, or to mix better the sauce if you want. Uh, Slaughter spoon, no, actually this weird spoon is because we're using spaghettis today, so we're going to be uh, draining them out uh, with a colander, but also we're going to be mixing them with this and serving them with this because it's better, much better in terms of the performance. A scale to weight your pasta. A bowl to mix uh, the pasta with the, the eggs and everything else. 
We are using spaghetti today, so nice steel uh, pan, so they can go in the full length, and then we can just twirl them inside when they get softer. You can use shorter pans if you're using like short pasta, but if you were cooking spaghetti, you want to go them uh, in full length. You don't break the spaghetti because that's a sin. A normal pan, mine is dented because it fell off, but that's stoneware, nice, to just cook the uh, pancetta. And of course, a kettle, which we are going to be now starting to boil the water with. Okay. And in the meantime, we are going to start by weighting the pasta. Since it is a tall thing, I just use that as a weighting measure. I turn on the, the, the scale, do the par, and then I'm going to just measure the pasta. So I usually do, for me and Michelle, I do 180 grams of pasta between, me and the two, between us two. Wow, 180. Actually, one more spaghetti. There you go, 180. Salted. So pasta goes away. This is how much it is, roughly 180 grams of spaghetti. Hey Lawson, so we put back in here, then we start to heat up uh, the pan for the pancetta, and I start at the same time the heating up of the pan for the water of the pasta, once it's done with there, so it starts with already uh, a hot hob under. scale that it does not need it anymore. So now while the, pot, the, the pasta water is boiling and this one is heating up, we start with the eggs. So we take out three eggs for us. One, Two and three. The water is starting up. So this pasta, because it's whole wheat and it's spaghetti, cooks at al dente in nine minutes. I will still suggest that after so like eight minutes, you have a check and see if it is uh, if it doesn't have a bite. If it doesn't have a bite, then it's probably nearly ready. You don't want sloppy pasta, you don't want pasta that sticks to the wall. So the water is ready. So we start and we pour the water in. The spaghetti all getting softer at the base. And once they, they get fully soft, with some tongs, we can just uh, twist them until they all fit in, without breaking them. At the same time, I'm going to add some olive oil to the pan, just like a, a tablespoon of olive oil. Okay, the pasta is getting okay. Curling it even more. There we go, until everything is submerged. Once the whole pasta is in, you can let it do the ma magic. Okay, as it, you know, as you probably can see, uh, what, where's it gone? I hope you can see it. It's all in now.
Okay, now the oil is heating up. We're gonna start with the eggs. Crack the eggs and keep the two half of the egg to separate yolks from the whites. You just pass one egg, the yolk from one side to the other. When you remove the enough of the whites, you're gonna probably not remove all the whites. You just drop it into the into the other bowl. Do the same. Separate. Pass the egg from one to another. And once you remove enough, drop it. And then the last one, whole egg. Okay, washing my hands because eggs end are not good. I can add salt to the water since we are already in the boiling. Not too much because it's already going to be quite a salty dish. Removing the pasta. Okay, and at the same time, I'm going to start the pancetta. If I can actually get inside. Okay. Pancetta needs to be seasoning and needs to be cooked because we need to produce fat out of this as well. As you can hear, probably, pancetta is sizzling. Always keep an eye on the pancetta because you don't want to get burned. So now, I don't know if you can see, we have the eggs in here. We're going to add a generous amount of pepper according to your taste. Mine is quite a lot usually. And a generous, very generous amount of parmesan. It will always feel that you add way too much parmesan, but it will never be enough, trust me. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's quite a generous amount of it. We remove the whites because we don't need them, and with the fork, you just beat the eggs. Make sure that you incorporate all the parmesan in. It's going to be quite a thick sauce at the moment, quite a thick mixture. Make sure that you scrape the borders, making sure you incorporate everything. So, at the moment, it's a very thick consistency. Okay, it's, it's quite thick and very orange-yellow. I'm going to move about the pancetta because it's already a hot pan, so it will not need much in terms of cooking. So the next step is that the oil that we are cooking the pancetta in and the fat that is coming out of the pancetta will help us making the sauce. So you push the pancetta to a border of the pan and with a spoon you collect the hot oil and the fat that is in the cooking pan, okay? I would suggest a couple of tablespoons of it and you add it to the egg mixture. This will loosen it a little bit and at the same time, since it's hot, it will also start to cook slightly the egg. So this is the first step. The pancetta is almost ready because it's tiny dices, so you keep beating again. You incorporate the hot oil inside here. And it's starting to loosen up. And then, again with a spoon, go to the pasta water and take a couple of spoons of that. 
heat spoon. Mine is a bit too deep there, so I can't really take a full little spoon. So again, you remix it again. Okay, sorry for that, guys. Fucking internet. So I removed the, the pancetta. This should be the, the, the color you're looking for. Brown, but not too burnt, okay? You can remove it from the fire because the, the remaining oil and fat will still cook a little bit more longer the pancetta. Or, if you want, you can start to transfer it in the bowl, okay? You can transfer everything, including the oil, into the bowl. And I'm going to do that right now. Okay. Now we're going to check the pasta. I'll try to check the pasta and see if it is ready. I believe it is probably a minute or so away. Taking one out, putting the rest back in. Yeah, just 20 seconds because there is a little bit of a bite. But it's not there yet. So the pasta is still cooking. We have done basically everything. I just keep moving the, the, the sauce here, which is now of a nice orangey color thickness. Right, I'm going to turn off the heat of the pasta and let me find the colander which I forgot to take out, which I'm an idiot. There we go. Colander, let's drain the pasta. Safety always. Because it is a steel pan, make sure that you cover your hands. Ooh. Draining the pasta. And now, when I'm back in camera, I'm going to add the pasta to the bowl where the bacon is, the pancetta is. First step, mix the pasta with the oils of the pancetta so it gets a nice coating already of oil and everything. And then we're going to add our egg sauce. As it is, because the heat of the pasta will be the thing that cooks it. So, all in. Scrape the bowl, making sure that you get everything out of it. Okay, and now we just move the pasta in, making sure that the pasta gets coated in the sauce. We're not doing any chefy things here, we're just mixing all the egg mixture with the pasta and the pancetta. Before serving, we add our pecorino, we grate it, Okay, we mix again. And I don't know if you can actually see, but this is how it looks like. Okay, and now we just serve. Two nice plates. And 
we start with our spoon there we go as you can see I made everything in the space of time that it took the pasta to cook so it's like eight minutes Cooking Italian is not complicated, guys. Not at all. Okay. Now what is left in the bowl, once again, we scrape it up. inside our plate and don't stay in the bowl and as a final final touch you can add again some pecorino or some parmesan depending on what you can find or what is your taste about it and that's it guys Carbonara pasta. So guys, now I'm gonna put a wonderful plate of pasta in my gob and I will see you later. Thank you for tuning in guys. See you later.